Hello and welcome to Don't Freak Out, quick videos on the kids' health we don't talk about. I'm Dr. Courtney Rowe and I'm a pediatric urologist at Connecticut Children's and today we're talking about hydronephrosis. This diagnosis is one of the most confusing that I see because even doctors have different words for it. Pylactasis, pelvocaliactasis, urinary tract dilation, hydrouretoronephrosis. Each word has some subtle differences, but they're all talking about too much liquid, in this case urine, in the kidney. Hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis is pretty common, about one in a hundred pregnancies. And there are three reasons why there might be a little too much urine up in the kidney. Reason one. The first is that there's some sort of blockage or obstruction, a little like a clogged pipe. It can be up where the kidney meets its drainage to the ureter, it can be down as the ureter comes into the bladder, or it can be as the bladder is trying to empty. Reason two. The second is that the urine could be going the wrong way from the bladder up the ureter. We call this vesicoureteral reflux, and it's a little like stomach reflux, except in the bladder. Reason three. The third is none of the above. Kidney just looks a little different, but it functions fine. The most important question with hydronephrosis is if it's causing problems. If a child is having urinary tract infections with fevers, we might want to get a special study to find out if there is reflux giving a free ride for bacteria from the bladder up to the kidney. If the hydronephrosis looks like it's pushing on the kidney, or if you have an older child with a lot of pain in their side, we might want to do a different study to find out if there's a blockage or obstruction that is hurting the kidney. And if neither of those things is happening, most children actually outgrow the hydronephrosis without needing any interventions or medications. This video is meant to be educational. Please talk to your doctor with questions about your child. And if you want to know a little bit more about hydronephrosis, I'm going to be talking about reflux, ureter or pelvic junction obstruction, and posterior urethral valves in October. Hope this answers some of your questions. And as always, that you don't freak out. Does that mean I'm frozen? Hydrophrenosis. No, hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis? What? Say phrenosis. Hydronephrosis. It's not hydrophorosis. Try again. Hydronephrosis. Nice job.